What's going on guys, it's your boy Stickwork from MaddenSchool.com and I'm here with another Madden 19 tip. Today I'm in the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. Uh, we're in Gun Empty Y Saint with the play Saints Fork. I'm going to show you uh, a setup to essentially beat every coverage uh, that your opponent's going to throw at you. We'll start off with a Tampa 2. What I like to do is put the X receiver on an in route and that X receiver is normally going to be your running back. And uh, you can change the B receiver to a fade, but I like to leave him on his post uh, because it works better when the defense is in cover two. Uh, so against the Tampa two, we're going to have the A tight end in the flats for a quick gain. <clears throat> and we're going to have the X receiver over the middle, as you see right there. And then if they're in a Tampa 2 and they start usering with the middle linebacker, and say they come down to user that in route, we'll have both the B receiver and that Y receiver open. So I'll show that again, or I'll show it to the Y receiver now. So if they come down, then that Y receiver is open. So essentially you have a double, like double post basically on this play. And they kind of both get to their spot at different times. So it's very difficult to be able to guard both of them. Uh, then say they play a cover two with hard flats instead. You're obviously not going to have the A tight end in the flats. <laughs> You're now going to be looking for that RB receiver, which on the right side you have a high low read with the RB receiver and the A tight end. And then if they're playing underneath coverage, uh, you'll still have that X receiver quick over the middle on the in route. And I really like those backside in routes because uh, it's something that your opponents really will never um, n notice most of the time. Uh, because it comes across the screen late, and they're normally looking to use or something quick. So that's normally always open for a good check down or even a go-to route. Uh, so then if they're playing underneath and you read that, you're going to have that B receiver wide open uh, for the post. And now we'll move into a cover three. Still in Saints Fork, still using the same setup. Cover three with hard flats. Again, we'll have that RB receiver wide open. Again, we'll have that X receiver over the middle. And then again, he is normally going to be your running back, so you can uh, use your juke moves and spin moves to even gain extra yards with that. And here's where the double posts really come into play with the cover threes. So as you're going to watch, that B receiver is going to hold that deep safety, and you're going to be able to throw it to the Y receiver wide open. So the B receiver is essentially going to take away uh, two zones against the cover three. He's going to take that right side corner, as I'll show you right here. So he takes that right side corner away, leaving the RB receiver to expose the high read on the right side. And then he's also going to take that middle uh, safety deep. So that would be wide open. So I'll show you what would happen if um, he wasn't on that post. You'll still be able to fit you can still fit that Y receiver's route in, but it would be a lot closer. So as you see, you're just immediately going to take a hit afterwards, but it would essentially still work. Um, but so then if they play uh, cover three with like cloud flats, you would obviously have the route underneath to the tight end. And you'll still have your X receiver. <clears throat> and 
And then you'll still have that post as well. We just unfortunately got sacked before we could throw that one. So I'll show that one more time. So even cover three, playing over the top. Uh, you're going to have that wide open space to uh, throw it to your receiver. So now we'll move into a cover four. So a cover four is going to be pretty similar. Obviously, if they're playing over the top coverage, you'll be able to hit uh, your tight end in the flats. We're going to be able to hit our X receiver over the middle on that in route. <clears throat> and then again, we're going to really have that Y uh, receiver deep over the middle on his post. Um, the reason being is his post is a little bit shorter than that B receiver's. So when that B receiver takes away the cornerback on the right and the f strong safety on the right, um, that Y receiver is going to come underneath him uh, in a wide open space of the field, as you see. And so that will result in a big gain. And then, again, if they play like cover four with hard flats, um, you'll see that sometimes. You'll again just have the RB receiver on the uh, high read over there on his post corner route. Still have the X receiver, and you're still going to have that Y receiver on his post. Um, so just all the route combinations in general, just to really make it difficult to defend this play, uh, just because there's so many areas of the field you can actually go to. Uh, it's hard to uh, be able to cover them all with uh, one play. And even you can even quick hike it because you're really just making one uh, adjustment on offense. You're just in routing that X receiver. You can just quick hike it. And there's really no way that the defense uh, will be able to set up that many adjustments to cover everything in that short amount of time span. Um, but anyways, guys, it is stick work, and I'm with MaddenSchool.com, and I hope you enjoyed this tip.